Hello everyone, it's Regina from The Cutting Cafe and I want to share with you today how to put together the new sewing machine box. Here's what it looks like. It's very easy to put together. Um, it comes with a little section here on the side Oops. that you can fill with um, little crafting goodies. Okay, let's get started. I've already cut out all the pieces here. Um, pretty much the pieces are pretty basic that you can cut them out by hand using the PDF file or if you have a cutting machine that accepts WPC, um, SVG, or MTC format, you can use your cutting machine to cut them out. So I'm going to pretty much go through this really quick. I just wanted to do a video though just to quickly show how to put the pieces together. So um, you have your front, I mean your back piece, and then you have your outline piece here and and then all these other little pieces so I'm going to go ahead and assemble these pieces they're pretty much self-explanatory the box is the main thing that I wanted to show you how to put together so I'm going to put um, glue these together they're not going to be glued like perfectly I'm just kind of doing this for demonstration purposes so you'll have an idea of how to put this together Here's the um, bottom part of the sewing machine, and it's optional to use this piece. Then we're going to put this piece on top of here. Uh, didn't do that perfectly. And then that way um, you kind of have the needle part a different color, the thread, and the um, wheel on the side. Then this piece is going to go on top of the outline piece. And I suggest using at least a medium weight paper when doing this. You know, something um, like basic gray. Nothing thinner than that really. Um, it works better with something thicker at least. And then this is the back piece that would go kind of on the back of here. But we're going to go ahead and set this aside. And then I'm going to show you how to put the matchbook together, which is the actual box that goes in between these pieces. So we'll set that aside. And the matchbook comes with um, this um, bottom part of the box and it comes with holes in it and it comes without holes. These are good so that you can put string in to pull the box out. So I'm going to put this together really quick. All the pieces are perforated so you know where to fold. And again, I would use at least a medium weight paper. I wouldn't use anything thinner than that. If you have some pretty thin paper, I would go ahead and make the box in a medium weight at least and then you can recut the pieces again and add it on top. So I'm just putting the adhesive on the corners and we're going to put this together. And this is, um, I think this paper is by Die Cuts with a View. It's an old, old stack but it has a nice weight to it. Okay. We've got that together and there's the holes there. Now, this piece here that is the wrap that goes around the box, it has perforated um, lines in it. Go ahead and fold them. Okay, and the best thing to do is I would go ahead and sit this in the middle. You don't glue it down, just sit it in the middle and kind of wrap the box like this so you can get a good snug so you know how it goes and then go ahead and just put some adhesive on one edge and this is not a very good adhesive I'm using but it works for for now so you kind of go like this and make sure you line up um, the top edge up here really good I mean the edges so this way you kind of get it, it's easier to wrap if you have the box already sticking inside of it. And kind of go like that a little bit. And then maybe kind of push the box out holding one edge. And then you can 
do it better. So basically, this is your box, your matchbook, that's going to house all the crafting goodies you're going to put in it. And before you adhere it on to your sewing machine, you might want to go ahead and put some string in here. You can easily just use some heavy jute, heavy string, whatever it is you want to put in there. Tie a knot, put the other one through there, and have a piece sticking out. That way it's easy to pull out from the box. So, okay, we'll just stick this back in here. And then what we're going to do, we're going to set this aside. So, we want to go ahead and glue the top edges of the front and the back together. And then we also want to put a little bit of glue right up in here in this piece, right here, onto here. That's what makes it kind of um, together right here. Kind of see. I don't have that in camera right. Kind of see right here where it's actually together at the top. And then over here, you can see I have it completely together right there. And there, all there is is just this little opening. Oh, I'm not focused here. All there is is just this little opening right here. So we're going to go ahead and put some tape around the top of here, some adhesive, and up in here. And I would use whatever you have, the strongest you have, to keep it together. And it doesn't matter if you get further down. We just kind of want to close up part of it. So we're going to go ahead and put that on there like this. Okay. So this is tight. And you still got the opening like that. Okay, now what we're gonna do is we're gonna take our box and we're gonna put some adhesive on here because all of this, both sides, is going to be adhered to the sewing machine. So um, make sure you have some good adhesive to go on here as well. So we're gonna go ahead and put some on here and here here both sides just the sides not the bottoms or the tops okay and then we're going to kind of like um, open this up and you're going to with the very back edge here and the edge here you're going to line them up see kind of lining it up right there and it should fit in there perfectly And then you're going to take the back and you're going to line that up to the very same edge. So basically you have this part together with this part seen and that's what gives you your little box in between. So with the string here it is going to be a whole lot easier to pull your box in and out like that. And then here's what the front looks like. It actually looks like the little plate that's on a real sewing machine where there's a little um, section that here where your thread would go through and you know it's covered in there. And then you can just go ahead and decorate it however you want. I mean there's um, a plain wheel or there's the wheels that have numbers and it has letters on it. Um, then there's other little decoration you can put on however you want. There's like these two little pieces that would go there. And then there's the actual color of your thread that would go there. You can literally put um, thread wrapped around this and then put it on there, however you want to do it. And then there's like a square piece that comes in the set that you can use real fabric or you can use this. Um, you can maybe cut it with some um, pink and shears. And then you can put it on here just kind of like that. You can fold it, kind of, you know, a little indention, you know, that way where it would go on like that, however you want to do it. Also in this set comes a little um, ribbon or spool maker. I want to show you real quick how to make these and these are perfect size to go inside the little um, 
box here. They fit in here perfectly. If you want to do that as a gift, would be great with ribbon on it, jute on it, um, fabric tape on it, um, scissors, buttons, all this stuff will fit in here. You can get some tiny scissors, actually. So it comes with one with the hole in it, if you want to do the hole, or it comes flat. I love the craft paper looking one, but it also would look pretty if you used um, pattern paper that matches the color of the ribbon or whatever you're going to put in it. So that's very simple to put together too. I wouldn't go too heavy on this because what we're going to do, it comes with a little perforated um, edge there. And you're going to put some glue on the very end of one edge, glue or adhesive. And you're going to fold this glue up to, actually I should have put it, let me turn it the other way. You're going to um, glue this, I mean adhere it all the way up to where the line is on there. You can't really see the line, but there's a perforated edge there. So you're going to stick this all the way up there to that line. Try not to be bending around. That's why I said kind of the thinner the better, but not typing paper, a little bit heavier than that. So it kind of makes a little circle. Don't worry about if it seems a little bent right here because you can kind of just like form it more into a circle. Then I went ahead and cut the ones with have the two holes and I did kind of use pattern paper. You're going to go ahead and you're going to put, um, you're going to adhere this on here. Now what I find works best is using this tacky glue here from, I think it's Aline's Aline's original tacky glue. You're going to just put some on the edges here, going around. Don't worry if it's messy. And you're going to kind of put it down on the center. I'm going to use this, this side so you can see it better. Put it down here on the center where it is and press it down a little bit. And I tend to take a Q-tip and just kind of go around it. Then you're going to do the same thing on here, on the other side. Stick it in the middle. And if it's not perfect, it's okay. You can kind of um, kind of judge where you think the middle is and go around. Okay, then you've got your own little spool. Then what I would do so that it can have time to dry and be closed, I normally will put this in between like two um, jars or two lightweight books and I put it on the side and then I just set it to dry for a little bit. And then you can roll whatever it is you want to roll on this and put it in your little box. Also in the set comes just a little, um, um, I call it a little thread, thread um, tag where you can thread um, jute on it or, um, I mean you can wrap jute on it or thread, whatever it is you want that you can fit and it has like a little indention in there to hold the string together. Okay, let's see, I think that's about it. Um, again, Here's kind of what the one looks like I did because it comes, oh yeah, it comes with a bigger one and then it also comes with a smaller one. That's what this little one was made and I just have it glued on there. Comes with some tags and the tags even have perforated um, edges on them if you want to use that. Comes with some sentiments and here's what one of the little dials look like. Um, and a few other fun things too. Also in the set, um, it does come with a shape card. The shape card is going to be made exactly the same way as the box. The only thing is, is you're not going to add the, in part, the insert part. So here's like a little shape card that I made um, to go with the actual box. Anyways, thanks for stopping by and hopefully this helped you out in putting together the sewing machine box. See you, see you next time. Bye-bye.